We've got a lot to talk about. Joey Jackson, Midland Charles, we're going to dig into it next. Stormy Daniels' former lawyer, Michael Avenatti, was released on $300,000 bond tonight after prosecutors alleged that he attempted to extort more than $20 million from Nike and that he committed wire and bank fraud. Let's discuss now. Joey Jackson is here as well as Midwin Charles. Good evening uh, to both of you. Good evening. It's interesting, consider, you know, we've been on panels with him. He's, you know, appeared on the network and you sat in, in and now we see this happening today. He was representing Stormy Daniels. He mulled a 2020 uh, run. Um, he said tonight, he said, throughout my career, I fought for the little guy and that he's going to be fully exonerated. Well, I think we have a difference of opinion. I mean, Joey looks at this from the perspective of, listen, this is just an attorney who was doing his job representing his client zealously and trying to engage in settlement negotiations. I understand that. I've done that on behalf of my clients. I do it all the time. I think the problem is where Avenatti drew the line or where he should have stopped or crossed the line, rather, is by trying to force Nike to hire him to represent them for uh, an investigation. Now, at that point, you cross the line from representing your client to trying to get yourself uh, hired by Nike. And I think that's one of the biggest problems. Where does zealous advocacy stop and where does criminality begin? It Lawyers... stops and it begins when you try to force mm -hmm. someone to hire you. Now that, and that's what happens. That here. I get, and that's what they'll go after, okay? Mm -hmm. There's no question that they'll go after that. However, that said, what is the distinction between having a company hire you for money and having a company pay your attorney fees on behalf of your client? Every other day and twice on Sunday when cases settle, there's a settlement that goes to the client, and then many times the person paying that money pays the attorney fees as well. In this case, there was a hiring which amounted to money. How is that distinguishable from the payment of attorney fees? I don't think let it me, is. Let me ask Easy. you this. because You're not forcing okay. them and okay, okay. threatening to have them face criminal liability for doing so. And by the way, I think it's important also at some point to look into this underlying allegation that he's making, which is that Nike was illegally paying students and all that kind of thing. Yeah. That's very important to, How much to trouble, not forget that. How much